I thought it would be fun to look at some average Irish statistics. Are they statistics? Probably. They're figures. Versus some Irish statistics. Versus some American statistics. This has started well. Irish versus American averages. I'll be taking the numbers from mostly the censuses. I think the Irish one most recently was in 2017, so maybe those figures are a teeny tiny bit out of date. And then a couple of them I'll have to look up on other websites, but they're as reliable as they can be. Before I get into the video, do be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, every time you go to put on your shoes, you'll put on the wrong side shoe. You'll put on your right shoe on your left foot and your left shoe on your right foot. That will be inconvenient for you, so subscribe or that curse will befall you. Okay, so straight out the gate, I think it is worth noting that the population of America is significantly larger than the population of Ireland, which is obviously going to have some bearing on statistics. More people, more anomalies. It's just a thing. There are approximately 328 million people in America. Compare that to Ireland's under 5 million. That's a big difference right there. There are more of us. Millions more. Next, I wanted to compare how many men there are versus how many women, and this one shocks me. There are almost 50-50 in both places. How did that happen? There are, however, slightly more females than males on both sides of the pond. 50.8% of Americans are female and 50.39% of Irish people are female. And that's probably why it's hard to find a man here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that as the reason. Next up, I found this is really interesting. Apparently in America, you guys are getting shorter while here in Ireland, we're getting taller. Isn't that weird? It's like over the years, we're getting taller here and you're getting smaller. Apparently in America, the average height of a man is five foot nine inches, which in centimeters is 175.26 centimeters. Are you taller or shorter than that? Let me know below in comments. The average Irish man apparently is 178.92 centimeters. That's five foot 10.4 inches tall. The average American woman is five foot four and the average Irish woman is five foot five. That's 165.11 centimeters. I'm five foot six, so that makes me slightly above average. Hey, go me. I'm super tall. Okay, we all know America is accused of being fat, but here's a fun fact for all of us. Ireland's pretty fat too. Yay, we're all fat together. But you know what? We've been in lockdown a lot this year and there's absolutely nothing else fun to do but eat. So I vote that all the governments in the world give us all free lipo next year. Can that be a thing? Now, here is an interesting one about weight because it went by what weight people claimed that they were in the census. So realistically, are we all gonna lie a little tiny bit? Let's just assume that these numbers are probably a little higher than what they say. So in America, men are 198 pounds. And in Ireland, men are 169 pounds on average, which is still overweight. It's all that good food delivery, it's just so accessible. The average American woman is apparently 171 pounds, while the average Irish woman is 155 pounds. Let's remember, this is what we claim. This could also be a consensus for how many people in a population are inclined to lie about their weight. I'm not fat, I'm big boned. Next up, and I found this one really interesting. I can't actually believe it. My mind's a little bit blown. So in America, your population of Caucasian people is 76%, which is very high. People identifying as other ethnicities are 24%. And I know they're called minorities, but for some reason, I definitely thought there was a lot more people of other ethnicities there. I genuinely thought it would be more like 60, 40 or something. So that was very interesting. In Ireland, it was pretty much what I expected. Maybe even there are a few more varying ethnicities than I thought. In Ireland, 85% of people identify as Caucasian, while 15% claim to be other ethnicities. It definitely put a different spin on the minority thing. I so thought there were more people of other ethnicities there, but until you educate yourself, you're ignorant and now I know. <laughs> This next thing is super interesting because it's to do with the price of houses and apartments and that's what's included in this, both houses and apartments. And it doesn't reference how many bedrooms there are or anything, it's just the average cost of a house slash apartment. 
In America, the average cost of a property to live in is about $204,900, which translates to €173,000. In Ireland, it's much more expensive than that. The average cost of a home in Ireland is $296,959, which translates to €250,766, which is a lot. I kind of expected it to be around there, so not too surprised. I did go a little bit deeper into digging because I was curious myself about Dublin house prices. The average cost of a house in Dublin is €438,693, which translates to $519,000. When you think about being able to get a mortgage, you can only usually get three and a half times your income. So let's look at that next. Actually, let's look at rental too. So the average cost of renting, again, houses and apartments in America is $1,023 a month, which is 823 euro a month. While in Ireland, the average cost of renting, again, not specific on bedrooms or whether it's a house or apartment, is 1,400 more expensive in Ireland. Again, that's approximately $1,657. And again, I was curious about Dublin because it's crazy here. In case you didn't know, we have a housing crisis. The average cost of renting in Dublin is 2,044 euro, which translates to $2,420. Oh man, so we must be earning a lot of money here to pay for those houses, right? Mm, wrong. So in America per capita, the income in the past 12 months has been on average $32,621. In Ireland, the average income is lower than the OECD average and the top 20% of the population earn almost five times as much as the bottom 20%. That's crazy. Well, the average earning for an Irish person is 40,283 euro, which in dollars is approximately $34,000 a year. So it's a little bit more here, but with good cause. Okay, enough about money. Let's see how long we're all gonna live. So I have good news and bad news. The good news is that if you're a man in America, you're probably gonna live longer than your Irish counterparts at 78.7 years compared to 78 years in Ireland. The bad news is you're all gonna live significantly less long than your female counterparts. Well, hey. In America, the average female will live 81.2 years, while in Ireland, the average female will live 82.6 years. That's like a whole year and a bit longer in Ireland. Interesting how the men all live to 78 years and the women, there's a big gap there of like a whole year. I wonder what accounts for that whole year. And those are my averages for today. Let me know below in comments if you want me to do a similar video to this. I know it was a little outside of our box today, but there are a lot more averages I could compare. I certainly found it interesting. I hope you did too. Over to Chewy for a couple of shout outs. Hello everybody, Chewy here. Today's shout out goes to Kevin Swigger. This is him and his meow. You can follow him and see more cool pictures of on his Instagram. Thanks Kevin, and I hope me and your cat can be friends. Just a reminder, you can join Patreon for the cost of a muffin. Yep, a muffin. You will get access to lots of behind the scenes videos and my mommy waffling on and on about nonsense. It's a very relaxed community where people just hang out in a nice safe space. If you want to join us, check it out. And that's it for today's video. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on the other side. Bye. In the middle. In the middle. I'm in the middle. Hello. I'll be taking, I'll be taking my, I'll be, and then a couple of them I found on and then a couple of them, are, and it doesn't reference how many people are li- And it doesn't reference how many- The population estimate of America is four million. I'm bad at reading numbers. 4,761,865 people. That's not right. Good start, Diane.